Three days after the inferno at the next Cash and Carry supermarket in Abuja, GTV Africa's visit to the site shows that the fire, smoke, and blast is still ongoing. However, Minister of FCT, Bello Mohammed, with other heads of re rescue agencies, paid a visit to the site. FCT Minister Bello sympathized with the next management over the incident, promised them all needed support so that they may bounce back stronger than they were. The next supermarket is, is something that hit the city very hard on Boxing Day. An unfortunate incident, but by the grace of God, no life was lost. And as you can see, a substantial part of the premises where the warehouses for bulk items were stored have been saved. And this particular incident brought out what is good about us as the citizens of Abuja. Everybody united. The neighbors within the area came out and supported them. And the fire service, the construction companies, and of course the commissioner of police and his very able team all caught on of this place. When the fire occurred, I was a couple of hundred kilometers away from Abuja. I just came back. And that's why I decided to come and inspect the place. And I, I really sympathize with NEXT. I do so particularly because I recall during the heat of the COVID-19, NEXT, under the leadership of Mr. Ndibe Obi, were among the foremost companies that provided tremendous support to the FCT administration by providing us palliative items which we distributed to vulnerable members of the community. Unfortunately, today, they are also very vulnerable. So it's our duty in the city to rally around them, protect this important investment and generator of many, many jobs in the city, and also give them all the needed support so that they bounce back stronger than what they were before. And on behalf of the entire uh, residents of Abuja, I want to personally, on behalf of all of you, convey our sympathies to Mr. Obi and his team, and of course to the general manager and all the staff of NEXT. We look forward to seeing you back in business in the no distant future. Speaking on the fire occurrence in FCT, uh, Minister of FCT promises to review and upgrade facilities in the city. Speaking on the fire occurrence in FCT, Minister of FCT Mohamed Bello promises to review and upgrade facilities in the city. In every community, in every society, fire incidences occur from time to time. Each fire has its own cause. This particular fire, of course, the experts are checking to see what the fires are. But definitely, the world over, whenever there is a fire incident, it affords uh, city managers and uh, relevant agencies to review and complete, continue to upgrade facilities to make sure that whenever fire incidences occur, the damages are minimal. And like uh, you have mentioned, with this fire incident, of course, we'll work together with the company and also the relevant departments under the fire service, development control, security agencies, FEMA. and FEMA, and all the other agencies will look at what really happened and then uh, as time goes on, like it's done everywhere in the world, uh, additional measures will be prevented. And this particular fire could have been much worse than this if the hydrant system was not available. And I commend NEXT for having a very robust hydrant system that had enough water so that fire vehicles were able to replenish their tanks without having to drive out of the scene of the fire. That is very important. And I'm sure, uh, based on what I saw here also, they had a uh, fair amount of, you know, internal uh, uh, systems to protect fire. But as we all know, once a fire is massive, uh, it, it, it becomes a problem to contain. So the whole idea is, as buildings are designed and monitored, uh, we'll make sure that uh, checks and balances are, you know, incorporated in such a way that fires are not allowed to go beyond a scale where they become impossible to control. The type of system is not all these major committees that just write and write and talk and talk without doing anything. 
already we have data, we have seen what has happened here. We are reviewing the CCTV, CCTV footage and we are doing the experts. The experts are here, they are doing their work and that does not require any committee because it's part of their job. In all the agencies, there are people whose duty are to check incidences of this nature, check what has happened and then provide solutions. And of course that is being done. You see nationwide, this period of normal campaign, normally it is tight. The humidity is very low in the atmosphere. And all this uh, flammable material, uh, they don't have much water content in their body. A little amount of heat energy uh, uh, makes them to be on fire. They easily reach their own flame point. So, you see, we have been trying much sensitizing the public on how to prevent uh, fire outbreak. But you see, Sometimes it's electrical that causes this. Eh? Because of the fluctuated fluctuation in the power, eh? it will go, come on and it will go off. And if it is not well controlled within, eh? you see, then now it will reach where by you will see that that current that is passing becomes something nuisance again. Because when now the light is off and you on it back, the current that are coming. They, they are coming in the form of a turbulent form. Have you ever experienced when water is falling, when water is falling from uphill down? You see the, the gullet, the, where the water passes, is in the tube. You see that the water is coming down in the tubular form and in the full force. That is exactly what happened with the uh, electric current. When now later uh, Nepal off their light, and they, when they restore it back, the current are moving in the in that direction. Then now one thing is that. If your inbuilt stabilizer is not very strong enough, this turbulent form of current that is trying to pass will blow it off. And that is where the fire will start. So if, if care is not taken and there is nobody that has started it uh, urgently, then now it will escalate and it will follow the, now the, the wiring system. Then you will have what we call running fire within the same building. Within a twinkle of an eye, you will see that it will cover the whole building. Except if now it is noticed and quickly you went and then off it from the main switch so that let the, let the fire not follow the current and then now occupy the whole building. But you see in this, in this, in this case it's also not far from the truth of this electrical fault. So and you see within twinkle of an eye it has covered the whole building. That is the, work, that is the, the, the danger that this electric fire that causes two structures because it will now cover immediately. But the moment you sighted this and you went to the main switch and off it, the fire will stop there. It will not move again. So, and you know, this place is stockpiled with, uh, with goods that are easily, uh, that easily born. So that is what happened and, uh, you know, before we come, the fire has, 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 has gone to a higher magnitude. But we, you see, we still have to battle with it. And some other sister organization came, like the Julius Bega, Federal Fire Service, NNPC, eh? and others, even the military. They came with their trucks filled with water and foam. We battled it together. But you see, as you can see, we are still battling it all. And uh, our Honorable Minister has said, okay, let's try and see how it can go off. What matters most was for their own this uh, uh, gas dome where, they, where, where, they, where their gas is being stored, not to be on fire. Because if at least one of them now came on flame, the whole building here would have been affected. Uh, not even people around, but the building also. So we try as much as possible to avoid that or not to be on flame. So, but it is a huge loss for Nescash and Kari. See, my advice, my advice to them, the whole business areas in the city, make sure that you have water sprinklers and they are very, very functionable. You see, if you have water sprinklers and very, very functionable, the moment this fire happened and then the sprinkler automatically started to spring, now it will now uh, make a kind of provide enough water vehicle 
within the confirmed space, thereby lowering the intensity of the fire that may have been. It will lower it down because of the uh, moisture concept that it is within the environment. It will be very high. So when we come, we will do less work. That is one. The secondly, again, let their first aid fire defense equipment. This is the portable fire extinguisher. Let it be well serviceable, nice. so that so that the moment it happens, before it escalates, you can now take it and then now you do see you go then you, you off it, and then let the let the also the the the, 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 the let them have a kind of like fire marshal or fire warden, eh? that they are well trained to handle this. Eh? Then, then now let them be put at the strategic end within the plaza. If one is here, another one will be at the other one, another one will be at that. So that the moment this thing happens, they can now get access to, to, to their fire extinguisher. Then they extinguish. It will not escalate. But when you live everywhere, no fire warden or no fire marshal eh, to take care of those roads, then you see that when it happens, the whole people within will be running out. And nobody now will be, will, 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 be, will be standing there to take care of it until when it is being informed to the security outside or to the security somewhere else to come and they do the needful. By then, the fire has gone out of the primary stage to the secondary stage. Uh, that is true. The alarm system should also be well functionable so that at least it will alert. Uh, so that even those, 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 those those people that are well to in firefighting can hear the alarm even outside. Then now they can rush inside. When people are running outside, then they can rush inside with their portable fire extinguisher to see where is it, where is it. Then when they spotted the place, then they cannot extinguish. As you understand. Then the, you see again in this regard, all the the, the compensation should be well arranged. So that, and then there should be enough space eh, for movement so that let there be no congestion. So that when you want to now to do the needful, you can do it freely. Eh? And then there will be no, no uh, obstacle. Sir, so, when you say the fire service, um, FCT firemen, mm. no equipment that yes, can battle yes, any kind of yes, fire. Yes, now. Yes. Or is there any other one that you think you are yet to have? See, let me tell you. In FCT, we have the we have the water tender, we have the foam tender, we have even tankers. As you can see, this is this is a water tender, but it's combined chamber with a foam uh, chamber. So now, as now we have filled the other chamber with the foam, and then the other chamber with the water. Then now, now you can see our tank is behind there, so that it continuously feeding the the water tender with. With, with water. Money, we, we would like to have maybe additional seven at, at, at stretch. Seven. Uh, if there is money. Are, are you applying for that soon? Well, my brother, you want to empty what is in my mind. <laughs> uh, what is, okay, let me tell you. What is in our mind? If there is money, we want seven. Seven uh, hydraulic platform. Then now we want seven foam tender. Then we need seven water tender. Eh? I've mentioned tankako, then seven additional water tank. Then you, now then you. then now we need also utility vehicles, commando vehicles to maneuver when there is incident like this. All we can do is to try our best to see how much we can prevent them. And if we cannot prevent them, how can we mitigate them? And that is what FCT Emergency Management Agency is always crying out for. We are the coordinating agency in the FCT. What we do is, as soon as a disaster happens and we get the distress call, we try as much as possible, as quickly as possible, to activate the relevant agencies, the lead agencies that are our stakeholders that will respond to this disaster. And that is exactly what we have been doing throughout the year. During the flooding, we did the same thing. You recall that during flooding, this year it was not like what happened past years. So we keep saying that our work is to coordinate and see that we are able to prevent the preventable disasters, avoidable disasters. We try as much as possible to see that they are prevented. 
humanly induced also being prevented. And that we do by creating awareness, carrying out sensitization in all the six area councils, in schools, we go to shopping malls, markets, and we sensitize them. We create awareness there to tell them what to do to prevent all these disasters, the avoidable ones, the ones that can be prevented, the, one that, the ones that are humanly induced. You can see that next year, the water hydrants were working, they had fire extinguishers, which they managed, and that was one other thing that delayed their calling us. They didn't call 112 on time, because they were trying to see if they could, they would be able to put out the fire themselves. But at the end, they ended up activating us, they called 112, and as soon as we received the distress call, we turned out, and that is it. Bimiga Olamiko, GTV Africa.